Greeting our Eastside businesses and Eastside members. It is very encouraging to see the positive energy from you during this difficult time. I have always been a participant at the annual Isaba Gala, so I applaud the organization for making it happen this year, despite of the challenges. I hope you will enjoy the virtual gala and for it to be memorable. I'd like to take this moment to give you all some business and infrastructure development update here in the East Side, especially those that I attended and had a role in the development. As many of you know, Vermola Companies just celebrated its grand opening about a month ago, creating 300 local jobs. The Conway Community Rec Center also kicked off its construction, developing indoor soccer sport facilities under the management of the Tony Santa Foundation. The Metro State and Community Partnership on the Greenhouse is still under development. The same goal for a Wonkan TP Interpret Center in the Lower Fang Creek area. These are projects I have been working on for the past several years, now coming to fruition. I have worked hard in getting support for this project through the State Capital Investment Appropriation and our Environmental Cleanup Fund to the city for the O3M site, where it is now safe and home for Vermilion Companies, the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis and the Eastside Family Clinic. This would have been the most celebrated time had we not faced with the pandemic. Regardless of the circumstances, our developments go on and we hope for better progress in the near future. Currently, we have one major project that is in dire needs of support and that is the Third Street Bridge. The safety of this bridge connecting the Eastside St. Paul to downtown is important to our community. I'm counting on a bipartisan agreement for this project on the next special session. Another important work that I've been aggressively pushing early this year for several months is the COVID-19 Small Business Relief Grant for our mom and pop, our veteran-owned and women-owned businesses. I hope that some of you had applied and received the support while surviving through this trying time. At the same time, my St. Paul and Minneapolis colleague and I have been working hard in getting support to help the damaged businesses due to civil unrest, as well as looking for housing resources to reduce homelessness. It has been frustrating not getting proper hearings from our Senate majority. Perhaps after the general election, will we see a firm decision. Appropriating funds to rebuild our businesses and our infrastructure will help restart our Eastside economy for a new growth in this tough time. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and the time to address our business community and Isaba members. It's always special to have the opportunities to celebrate with you, my neighbors in the Eastside business community. Enjoy the virtual gala. Stay safe and may the good force and positive energy be with all of us. Again, thank you and have many blessings.